Little Billy isn't looking forward to going to school today. Yesterday in science class, they had a comprehensive exam on plants with seeds, and he did not take notes or pay attention in class. These tools are important to a successful academic career at your school. Today, Mr. Smith is going to give back their science test. Will Billy pass his test? It looks like little Susie studied mighty hard for her test. And it shows. One mustn't be surprised at the grade they got when little effort is put into studying. However, not as all lost for Billy. Mr. Smith has learned all about No Child Left Behind. He asked the class on how little Billy can learn about plants' growth and reproduction. I have an idea. Why don't we help Billy on his test? What a wonderful idea, Mr. Smith announces. He has the class make presentations to little Billy in helping him learn his required curricula. Stature of seed plants. Johnny explains what a gymnosperm is. A conifer, such as a pine cone, is a gymnosperm. It is a plant that does not keep its seed inside a closed vessel. Gymnos is Greek for naked, and sperm means seed. When the cone opens up, the seeds inside the cone will fly out into the wind, where it will grow into a new plant. Jose explains that angiosperms are enclosed in a vessel, such as this orange. Angio is Latin for vessel, and sperm means seed. The seeds are not naked like the seeds from a gymnosperm. They are enclosed and cannot fall out until the outer covering is eaten or rots away. Roots are very important to both angiosperms and gymnosperms. The top layer of a root is called the epidermis. This is the top layer that protects the rest of the root. Your skin also has an epidermis. That is your top layer of skin. But the root is not covered in skin. The vascular system of the plant is the xylem and phloem. The xylem travels in an upward direction, drawing water up from the root into the other parts of the plant. The phloem travels upward, bringing both water and nutrients to the different parts of the plant. Stems help provide a way for water and minerals and food to be transported between the roots and the leaves of the plant. Here is a diagram of a woody stem. Here you can see the outer bark, which has a tough and waterproof protection. The leaves of the plant may vary in shape and size, but they all provide a means for a plant to create its own food. This special process is called photosynthesis. Here, Fred is showing Billy how the chemical reaction works. Carbon dioxide, chemically mixed with water, sunlight, and chlorophyll, will create glucose and oxygen. Here is the chemical equation that describes the process of photosynthesis. Equations are chemical notations that scientists use to explain chemical processes. Flowers are the structures that contain the reproductive parts of an angiosperm. Some species have both male and female reproductive structures, and some only have one. The shape, color, and smell of a flower attract different insects and animals in hopes of aiding in the process of pollination. That is where pollen is carried from the male reproductive structures of a flower to a female structure. The female structure of a flower is called the pistil, and the male structures are called the stamen. Wind, insects, and animals carry the pollen from the stamen of a flower and either self-pollinates the pistil or pollinates the pistil of another flower. Seeds usually need to be scattered away from the parent plant to give a new plant a chance for survival. Since seeds don't have legs and walk away, they have different methods to transport themselves. Seeds sometimes get the help from Mother Nature by blowing in the wind or rain washing them away into water, traveling for miles and miles. Other times, they catch a ride on an animal's fur, or birds eating a seed, flying and then dropping it to the ground. Even humans get in on the fun with dispersal of seeds. 
such as seeds clinging onto clothing or shoes and fall off in different areas. Some people dig a hole and plant a seed on purpose. This is what we call farming. With the help of little Billy's class, he received an A on his test. Mr. Smith was so impressed that they all went to visit the tropical Hawaiian islands to learn more on seed plants. We're chilling in the Hawaiian Islands! Action! Gymnosperms are naked seeds! What? <laughs> Angiosperms are seeds that cover and use, and use fruit. Cool! Genosperms are used for phyla. For phyla? One of them is cycas. Psychos? No, psycho. Seed plants are vascular plants that produce seeds. Like all vascular plants, seed plants have true roots. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Do you want Action. Here, we go. With the patterns of the growth, it goes annual, biennial, 